Hey, hello everyone, what is cooking all you good looking people out there and welcome to another exciting episode of City Skylines. Today, my goodness, well, yesterday was a big day. It was the day where our city uh, grew. We got the 25 tile mod finally and started uh, looking at where we can move on. Look at that, our huge city now seems rather small when we have 25 tiles of barren land to work with. And we started off this monstrosity which is, well, it's currently a monstrosity. Hopefully going to not be a monstrosity at one point soon. But how do we do it properly is the real question. We've got this and that doesn't look so bad. Should we do something like that over here or should we do something different? I feel like doing something different is the good strategy. So... Clearly, we've done some missteps. I actually like this one, so I'm going to keep that one. That one is pretty sweet. But I think the missteps have been uh, on this thing right here. And I don't know. Is there a way to move this? There's no way for me to place this like here, is there? doesn't it doesn't want to go so there seems like one of the only places I can do it oh hold on right there oh that's much better okay great so now we've got one right there we've got one in the middle and I like this one and this one we can go can it go over here oh I don't know let's find out come on I don't think it can do that. I don't think the angle is going to work. Height too high. Oh, come on. The height. Look at look at the height here. Oh, the height there. The height there is pretty high. Okay. Well, it seems to work there, but it doesn't work. All right. I can go like this, and then that might be a little bit better. But honestly, I feel like it's pretty much the same as that right there. So that's that's just going to be what it is. Okay. So we've got, yes, I know, Harbor. Thank you. So what we're going to be doing is we are going to be creating something along the lines of something like this. But maybe a little bit better. So obviously that road right there uh, is going to need to... Uh, it's going to need to turn because that's the reason why this road exists is to do that. That's great. And then uh, this one like this right there. That can go something like this. Okay, so now we've got those two concepts down. Let's go back here and create something like this okay there you go looks nice or kind of there you go and then this can go hmm how do we make this look nice and crazy like this one we can make that go okay that's an interesting thought because we want to have we want to have the, the kind of the same sort of loops so at least it looks good so we can go kind of like this and then we can go uh, like that and then we can go okay now like this like this like that yeah okay then we can go like that okay now we are sort of talking so then we can go maybe a little bit more like down here and we can go over here to there like this and let's 
go and loop around. Maybe this will look okay like that. No, like that. Oh yeah, all right. It's got a little bit, a little bit of curbs. I, I like, I, I like this a little bit more, although it kind of messed up here. Like that? Oh, that looks much better. No lights, no nothing. And a nice smoother curve. That's good. Okay. So from here... I'm gonna go like that. Alright. Then we can go straight like this. No lights yet again. That's what we're looking for. Uh... No, we want to go, oops, make sure we're curving. So from here to there, from there to there. And is there, if there's like a way to make... Just, just just, to elongate this for almost no reason. Do we need to do something weird like that? Just to make it longer for no reason? I don't think we really necessarily do. Was I using grass? I guess I was. Well, there you go. Let's make it uh, boom like this. And then that is also trees. Okay. So this looks... This actually does look a little bit better. Which, uh, which I like quite a bit. So, what can we do? Well, we need to power this, which is going to be sort of madness, but that's okay. Uh, we can have we can have a poles right in the water, which I think are better than over here on the cliff side. So, again, we're going to be doing sort of like this, this, like that. There you go. Waterborne lines leading all the way there. And... Then what we want to do is, how are we, yeah, how are we going to power this? It's an interesting thought I hadn't really thought of. Um, well, we could bring the power right through the middle of the highway, like we once were. Do we want to try that again? Or, I don't know, it's not going to fit through the bridge, because, yeah, there's no way, there's no way that's, that's not going to fit. There's got to be another way. We could bring the power straight across like this, and I think that's going to be the most efficient way of doing it. There's no boats that are coming in there, so it's not really a concern or a hazard. What I say we do is we go from here to here, bridge that, and then go like this. Have it right in the water like that. There you go. So that's going to be, that's going to be what carries the power. Then we're going to want to go over here, cross, and then we're going to want to go over here and just carefully bring this along the outside. There you go. Boom, boom. There you go. Very nice. So now we've got that. Then all we really need to do is go like this. Like that. And okay. So now we've got this all, all powered up. New places. These vehicles, they'll be able to get themselves there. Got a little bit of areas to uh, work on in the future, of course, which is going to be very nice. Lots of room to place this, lots of room to place that. Uh, these, I mean, we can build something on this island uh, in the future as well if we would like to. Might as well zone this, and we can call this. Now, some people did talk about this being a very premium, a very like premium spot, much like this island is. 
But no, no, this, I'm thinking of, like, uh, that island, uh, near Seoul in South Korea, where the airport is. To me, that's what this island is. Th that island is based off th that one. I don't really know what that's called, but the big airport near Seoul is, uh, on an island, much like this one. And that's what this island is based on. It's not some kind of fancy place where people bring out their sailboats. No, 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 it's a, it's a big hub of, uh of shipping and stuff like that. Uh, so there you go. That's just going to be this island. We don't know about that island. We don't know about this one. Uh, obviously, this sort of becomes part of uh, Williams Woods. Williams Woods does not cross that. And this is hard to tell what's going to go there. But I'm going to... No, 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 no. I'm going to go like that. Then we're just going to go and delete that because there's no point. So there you go. That is how things are going to be. Interesting, interesting. Okay, so what does this get called? This is going to get called... Um, it's... I mean, it doesn't really have a name. And it could be called... Um... I don't know what it would be called. It could be called, um, I don't know, maybe like, uh, maybe Fog Island. Yeah, Fog Island. There you go. And that's just, uh, that, that is just like a historic call to, uh, you know, it's always been a big hub of transport and stuff like that, and, uh, you know, back in the day they used to say that, you know, fog was smog and stuff like that, you know, really it's Smog Island, but we're calling it Fog Island because it sounds uh, at least a little bit nicer. All we've got here is big highways and airports and stuff like that. God, it's going to be hard to get to work for these people, but uh, there you go, and I guess with that, that we're going to want a subway connection to here. Uh, because it would be sort of nonsense to not have one. So what do we do? We create... Yeah, we... Okay, I see. I see how how it can go. So we're going to put this thing right there. And do we want one here? It needs to be placed on a road. I mean, I feel like I probably should place one... Like here, and one here, and one here. But currently, like, there's no roads or anything on these islands. So it would be a bit bit forward of me to do that. The thing is, I don't know if I can really edit a train line. Well, maybe we're going to find out as we go along. Uh, that would be That would be nice. Or maybe, yeah, we're going to find out if we can edit one, really. Because what this is going to do is this is going to go... Oh, crap. That's not what I wanted to do. No, no, no. Delete delete this nonsense over here. There you go. All right. So this is going to go from here to there. And then from there. Oh, God. He's got to do this sort of crazy underwater slope. All right, there. Like this. Again, it has to do that because going underwater is very difficult for uh, things. All right, so we're going to go like... Uh, something like... No, something like that. Right over here. That's nice. Alright, so now we got this. Now it's gonna go. Alright, it goes all the way down there and it swivels like that just so. Okay, then it goes. Which way does it go? It, it'll go to here. Like this. Alright. And then it goes... Like 
like that. Oh, we can't really make it come this way. Can I take it and go like this? That's my question. I don't really know if I can. Don't think I necessarily can. Which is why I probably need to go like this, like that. Oh, crap. All right, we can delete that. Like this, and okay. So now we can go like that. Seems good. Delete all of this. No. Okay. Alright, so now we've got that. Goes like that. Very nice. All we need to do is somehow connect that with this. And that's going to be the hardest part. So, from here... Okay, we got something there. Then we got something there and then we do we connect it to here and we're gonna go like that okay so now this giant loop exists so we start it off right there and the next line that it goes to is that one this one right there right there right there right here right here and closes the line wow look at that monstrosity but eventually we can add a line here we can add one there we can add one there and then everything is going to be okay this line is going to make sense for now not quite. Also, this is going to erode, like, all of our money. All of it's going to be gone. We're going to be losing tons of money per hour uh, the moment I connect this. But I think it is going to be pretty sweet. Also, maybe we could add, like, garbage on this island? I mean, that would be pretty nice, actually, if we could do that. We could get some we get some garbage dumps to, uh, to come out on, onto this island and... Uh, start working out because then it could they could go into the city I don't know I mean is this too far for garbage it might be too far away for garbage but I mean it seems like an ideal spot there's not gonna be anyone living on here so having a like a big dump could be pretty cool um, yeah that could be that could be interesting for sure uh, these people I mean we're gonna need to go and take create a bus line uh, the bus is going to go from there, you know, right there, down there, down there, right there. Okay, I mean, I don't know if, I don't know if this actually makes any sense, but you can go like this, like that. And then connect that up. And then there you go. We got our bus line. It goes to the cargo terminal and does that. That seems good to me. Then we could put, we could put garbage. Garbage would be not a bad idea, actually. At least I feel like it wouldn't. Might need a little bit of a fire station out here just in case. Uh, just in case that is necessary. But uh, adding garbage services here on this island could be cool. But I have no idea. I mean, this might be too far for the trucks to drive. Literally, look how far they would have to go. I mean, apparently, there's garbage service. Until all the way over there. Like, apparently, somewhere, this one, or this one, is still serving here. I mean, that's insanity, if you ask me. But, apparently, it's the truth. It is the honest truth. So, this is going to help bring things into the city... 
I don't know about garbage. We'll hold off. I think we should play and we should find out how much money we're losing per month. Because it's going to be a ton. Oh, water's not connected? Well, electricity should... Wait, electricity isn't? I thought we sorted electricity out. Didn't we? Okay, yeah. They're, so they're getting power, but they don't get water. That makes sense. Because water, we didn't have water until just recently. So, uh... Currently only making 15. That's okay. There... There, like this, and I guess we can from here, oh, don't slope too steep me, there you go, there, then we can go like this, then we can go like this. All right. Like this and just like that. That is great. Over here. Over here. Oh, beautiful. like that very nice we might as well connect this to something like right there make sure just in case you know some double connections there you go in case some kind of weird disaster happens not that that's really possible in the game but just in case it is all right so now if i play these guys have water right oh this place still doesn't have water come on now there you go you have water. Oh, lordy, lordy. Okay, so how much money did I lose on that proposition? Lots is the answer. I mean, it's still it's still diving, but that's not going to recuperate for a little while. Again, I don't really know what's killing our population here. Uh, it's very hard to tell. So maybe I shouldn't put it on auto demolish buildings. No, d demolish. Don't auto demolish abandoned. Keep the abandoned, but demolish the rest, and that, that might help uh, at least understand as to why our things are going down. Now our money has settled. Nice 5,000. Hopefully uh, more people are going to be coming into town uh, very shortly, at least. Uh, that, is, that is the hope. Is there something I can do? Commercial is not very happy, but offices are very, offices are very happy. So, I can tax them sort of a good 12%. That's going to be nice for them. They're, they're going to they're gonna stay in town uh, with that much. And residents are... Uh, the high-density residents are bringing in, you know, should we tax the rich? Tax the rich. The rich get richer. Uh, maybe that'll help some people. There you go. We'll tax the rich. We'll tax the poor. You won't tax them anymore. None of these, because these are our problem zones. But uh, 12, 12, and have 11 on the rest. I think that'll make uh, that'll make the numbers a little bit better. Eventually, we're going to get to a point where we can tax these guys, which is going to help us a lot. But for now, for now, there ain't nothing we can do. We can go check out happiness. So we'll see. 90%, yeah, 95 is office happiness. Industrial happiness is 95 as well. So apparently, we can tax them. All right, if you guys are at that kind of happiness, we can tax you. Although, they, they are fickle. They are fickle bunts. We don't really... No, we don't need to. We'll tax offices because offices are super happy, but we'll keep those at 11 because we, we, don't, need, we don't need to do that. Ain't nobody needs that. And look at that. There's a difference that little 1% makes. is huge. Uh, but we can also now see uh, the people are still complaining about goods. And the next thing that I'm going to be doing is I might have to do some advice someone gave me is I might, you know, as much as I didn't want to, I wanted to have commercial all spread throughout, I might need to streamline my commercial. And that, unfortunately, may be a thing that I need to do. Streamline it all, place it on major roads, keep offices on the inside. Yeah. 
I think I think it's gonna need to happen sadly even though I would love for that not to be the case you know have this all be commercial all throughout this road and put none in the other places much as I don't want that to be the case unfortunately I think it may it may indeed need to be sadly is why is no one moving in we got some nice places for everyone look at this build it and they will come not necessarily true not necessarily true at all chirper just doesn't say hasn't said a, a darn thing in ages so there you go uh, these places are abandoned maybe i should be destroying them how much does this lower happiness i should indeed uh, i'll i'll turn auto demolish on I think I think auto demolish is good because again the, the buildings are abandoned for the same reasons no matter where they are because there's no goods to sell and no matter how many goods I build uh, it doesn't really seem to matter you can see I like I want there to be goods but clearly there's 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 no there's no more importing of goods that I can do it just doesn't it doesn't work I can go over here and I can I, this is as cranked up as it can be there's no more cranking I can do but yet again there's nothing for uh, there, there there's nowhere for my goods to be so sadly you know certain things don't work out apparently no goods need to be on this island this is uh, pretty much a non-functional place right now but that's okay this one oh, this one's at least a little bit more functional you know, I dream of a day when people are going to be using this to, to get their goods into here, but apparently uh, that time is not now. We have, a, we have a train station over here, which does, does do some stuff. Maybe, just maybe, there is a way. I mean, this one over here it actually works, so that is pretty good. Maybe I can build more. An like another train connection somewhere else out here and that way it's going to serve this place a little bit better maybe I can uh, do some do some the new highways that I'm planning on doing and that might uh, that might also help at least that is the hope for now though oh lord yeah it, no matter where I go in here it's all it's all the same problem right all the mega stores there's no this this is not related at all no it's it's all just it's all commercial it's not anything else so this is all just commercial that can't get goods and if I go to my imports and exports or wherever that is here total import why am I only importing this much import more do I have an importing budget because I would love to crank it all right, you empty out yourself. If I could just import constantly, m even more. Looks like uh, hey, it looks like at least people are traveling to the city. But if there is a way of importing uh, even more stuff into the city, I would do it. I'm not too sure what the reason for the population decline is, but it is happening. There's a, at least a slight one. I don't know. I don't know what for. I'll turn on demolished abandoned building. Uh, yeah, it would seem like the population was going uh, up, skyrocketing before, but now, now it is not happening anymore. At least we're destroying the buildings as they as they show up. So there is that. Wow, big shipping channel here. I think uh, I think we're we're in a place of need need for more goods I mean these places they're producing goods right you've overeducated workers but I don't think we have a crisis in terms of jobs there no jobs are not a crisis here uh, so that is that is good these all right we, we're, f we're fully stocked up here on good stuff the island is well fog island is all covered up Oh, these guys, they, they do need garbage. Okay. So, obviously, we wanted to, we do want to place garbage here. Uh, we'll go one, two, three, four. And that, that's gonna, that's gonna be nice. We can see power. That's all gonna be connected right away anyways. 
and we can go uh, we'll just yeah, we'll just keep adding them there you go beautiful and hopefully maybe they'll go collect some garbage from other places as well it doesn't really matter we go to trees and we will you know uh, add in some nice little areas over here oh there you go beautiful and then over here we delete all the trees and we place them there place them oop, there and over sort of here but we make sure that uh, that remains clear and we might as well you know place some nicely in there there you go just lightly there we are that's gonna make fog island at least a, a little bit nicer yeah there you go that looks now that looks that looks like a nice little island there now now it looks a little bit better with uh, with those trees and uh, the airport the runway let's click minus isn't super sketchy a little bit but it's not too bad uh, all right great look at that now there's oh okay well hold on this this thing right here that's pretty it's pretty bad all right yeah now we've got the planes they're landing their wings are almost touching the trees uh, but they are not, so I call that a victory. Oh my god. It's a bit, a bit of a tricky brush to use. There you go. That, that's gonna be, that's gonna be good. Now let's see this one as it enters. Right, let's go minus, minus, minus. Okay, now we got that, so we can go. We might actually, we need to use delete, like that. That is much nicer. Sweet. And garbage, do you, there's, these places are open, right? I mean, there there should be, they should be sending their trucks. Shouldn't take very long. Not operational. No one knows why it's not operating, but it is operating normally. And the garbage is eventually going to get connected, uh, collected, I'm sure. There you go, it looks like, looks like it indeed was. Well, I was hoping that uh, Fog Island could solve some of our problems. Of course, apparently not. I will have to say that I hope you guys have enjoyed this episode. And as always, tune in tomorrow as we figure out some of our issues and solve them by any means necessary. Hope you guys have enjoyed. And as always, I will see you guys. Oh, look at that. Okay, you good and you opposite. Awesome. Hopefully you guys have enjoyed, and as always, I'll see you guys next time. Aw, oh, yeah. Cue the royalty-free music. Three, two, one, go. Come on, everybody. Get on your feet. Stand up, look at the screen, and repeat. I'm gonna like, rate, comment, and subscribe. I love watching Aether vids all of the time. Thanks for dropping by and spending the time. Hope you've enjoyed, and let's get on with our lives. Oh yeah. Thanks to Kevin McLeod for these awesome beats. Oh yeah. Have a good one.